He's a quintessential kiss up, kick down sort of guy. I've never seen anybody quite like Secretary Bolton in terms of the way that he abuses his power and authority with little people. Uh, I, I say that because uh, if you bark back at him, he doesn't bother you. Support for the UN is critical to the success of this institution. The United States will continue to do its part. John, you have my confidence and that of the President. Confronting and triumphing in the global war on terror remains the central priority of the Bush administration. And to win this war requires long-term cooperation with all like-minded nations. You said that if we removed 10 stories from the 38-story UN headquarters, quote, it wouldn't make, make a bit of difference, end of quote. Uh, is it fair to say that you really don't respect or believe in the institution of the United Nations? No, I think it's very inaccurate. Mr. Ford, you said the outset, so we are clear here. You're a Republican? Yes, sir. I described as a loyal Republican. Yeah. That always worried me about you, and I want you to know that. <laughs> no, but... Colin Powell's chief of staff, Colonel Lawrence Wilkerson, testified before the committee that Mr. Bolton would make, quote, an abysmal ambassador because of his management flaws. When was the last time that 102 diplomats have imposed, opposed the appointment of a new ambassador? Mr. President, please find a better candidate to send to the United Nations. Yet because of partisan delaying tactics by a handful of senators, John was unfairly denied the up or down vote that he deserves. John Bolton's the right guy at the right time with a worldview that I think will reinforce the president's instincts to go after our enemies and to be a better ally.